Shalom Bracha from Yerushalayim. We will continue with our series of videos discussing Minhagim which are particular to certain Shabbatot and Parashiyot. So we are up to Parashat uh, Vayese. Vayese is sung in the, in the scale of Ajab. Ajab, as you know, <coughs> is the Makam that we use for happy occasions, for weddings in particular. And uh, the reason we do uh, uh, Vayese and Ajab is this is the parasha where Jacob gets married to both Leah and Rahel. We do have a very unique custom among the Syrian uh, Kehilot where for the Semehim Besetam piece in Shahrid, we will shift to Makam Saba. And the reason is, <coughs> excuse me, that there is a Pizmon that was written by the famous Rabbi Israel Najara in the 16th century called Yedidi Ro'i Mekimi. It's found in the uh, Pizmonim book, Shirush Bahal Zimra on page 417. <coughs> And the reason we sing this song is because the last stanza, actually the, the, the pismon, ends with the line Rahel Ba El Matson, which is taken from our parasha. So there is that custom. I understand that in maybe recent decades in, the, in the New York communities, uh, not all Kehilot do it. Uh, it's certainly done in Argentina in a number of Kehilot in Addis. It's a beautiful custom and it's, uh, you know, we have all the resources with the uh, fantastic uh, uh, website pismonim.org for those who want to familiarize themselves with the pismon and the customs. So I urge the Hazarim to restore these beautiful customs and, and, uh, and do the Yedidir Ori for Semihim. The Shishi is Va'omar Hineni. Now, some ask me, why do I mention always when the Shishi is? Well, the Shishi is, is perceived as the most important Aliyah, certainly al Piyah Kabbalah, in Kabbalistic tradition. And it's always been our custom to send a Hacham or an elder statesman or a, uh, a learned man for Shishi to the Sefer. And it's usually a few Pesukim long, ending with a beautiful Beracha that's found in the Parasha. So, on Aliyot, will be uh, uh, affected by when the shishi is. So we'll decide when the shishi is, and that's why I mentioned it, and then the shishi will be, uh, will be figured out after we know when the shishi is. Again, to mention the beautiful tikkun, Korim, the Kat Abraham, printed by the Sephardic uh, Heritage Foundation, where it lists all of the, uh, has all of the stops based on our community's traditions, and at the end of the Sefer, there's a chart showing all the, the different uh, uh, versions and variances uh, with the stops based on different hachamim and different communities. We move on to Parashat Vayishlah. Parashat Vayishlah, here there's a difference of opinion as to what the makam is. In Israel we do bayat. In uh, America and Argentina they will do uh, either Saba or Siga, probably Siga in most, in most cases. Uh, the Shishi ends by Kralo El Elohe Israel. We move on to Parashat Vayeshev. Parashat Vayeshev generally is the Shabbat before the holiday of Hanukkah. This is how it is most of the years. In the rare case where you have Hanukkah spanning two Shabbatot, so you'll have the first, you'll have Vayeshev and Miket, so Vayeshev would be the first day of Hanukkah. Uh, the reason I point this out is that usually before a holiday we will incorporate tunes of the holiday into the into the prayer and occasionally even change the makam as we do in Parashat Bamidbar because it falls out before Shavuot. Uh, we will we will uh, change the makam to fit the pieces of the prayer that we have to do for the holiday. Hanukkah we have no particular tunes for the Hanukkah holiday. It's true that the entire Kila, I would say the entire world. Uh, Jewish world sings Ma'asur when they light the Hanukkah, but it's obviously not an authentic Halabitun. It was never really incorporated uh, into the Shahri prayer of uh, Shabbat before the holiday, as other holidays are uh, we're accustomed to see. Nonetheless, being that it's Parashat, uh, excuse me, it's uh, Parashat by, by, uh, by Yeshev is Maqam Noah, where in America, as we discussed in Parashat Bayera, they many shifted to Nahuan. 
But anyway, there is a tune that is found in the notes of Hakam Musa Ashar ala wa shalom our great Hazan from the early part of the 20th century, where he said that in Shabbat Aniyim, he writes the Shabbat before Hanukkah, in particular using the tune uh, on page 207, the Pizmon is called Neri Ve'ori. Pull it up, it's in the Pizmon books. Le Neri Ve'ori Ta'ir El Ram. Obviously, Ner and Or reminding us of the Hanukkah holiday. It's a beautiful tune. Uh, again, look it up in the pizmonim.org if you're not familiar with the tune or go to the Hazanim and ask to be taught this, this wonderful tune. So that, that's the custom for, uh, for uh, the Shahrit. For the Shishi, uh, there is a number of opinions even in our community. Most stop when in describing Yosef as Hashem Asle'ah Be'ado. There are a number of, uh, of uh, opinions, and again found in the Tikkun, where it'll stop a few Pesukim later, describing Yosef as Yefe To'ar Vife Mar'e. Cold tooth.